I knew this was some kind of space adventure, so I expected something more intense, something more high stakes. Hey music friends, this is Davi Vask, I'm a music composer for games and uh, today, today's gonna be interesting because usually, you know, when I listen to these songs here in the channel, I usually know the game, if, even if I haven't played it, I know I have something to expect about the song that I'm about to listen. This time, we're gonna listen to and talk about Outer Wilds, uh, and it's the, the main theme apparently, and uh, I, I know about this game, I know it exists, but I have pretty much never seen it, I've never heard it, pretty much all, all I know about it is that it has something to do with space, it's, it's like a space adventure, I guess, so I'm expecting, I guess, some something orchestral, maybe some electronic spacey sounds, but yeah, that, that's about it. Let's go! Oh wow, this is... Oh, this is nothing like I expected. Oh, wow, this was not at all what I was expecting. And it, it's funny that, you know, I said that, that I was expecting like orchestral stuff and maybe some synths, some electronic sounds. And then it, they, they just gave us a, some kind of country music, like space country music. And as soon as the, as soon as I heard the guitars and the, the banjo, Sounds so cozy. As soon as I heard this, I I remembered. Uh, uh, remember that I I said I I was aware of this game. I I know it exists. I remembered an image that I saw of this, which is pretty much all I I've seen of it. And it's like one of these one of these images, like here with with the the astronaut guy with the banjo. So this makes total sense now. I love when when composers do this they they take like a, a established genre like every everybody would expect orchestral stuff from this right from, from what i understand it's an epic space adventure so they just completely took us off guard they they did something unexpected so instead of focusing on the the awe the wonder and the the grandeur of the immenseness of space like most people do here they're, they're focusing even even on the the cover of the album here you can see that they're focusing on a cozy corner of the galaxy some small tiny cozy corner of space but you can still feel a sense of wonder and admiration for the the immenseness of space and being here on the perspective of a small cozy corner of the galaxy even amplifies that sensation of being you know just a tiny little small part of this immense thing that is uh, a galaxy so here at the beginning already at the beginning they're introducing these on top of the, the country, like guitar and banjo stuff, they're introducing some electronic sounds. In, in, in that sense, I was kind of right in my expectation because they do have some electronic spacey sounds. And that definitely gets across the, the message of being from the per perspective of a cozy place, contemplating something vast and, and you know, huge, bigger than you. Did you hear? There's these electronic spacey sounds, something like a, a very 
almost like like a, a whale singing, like uh, something like this. Did you hear? And this, another interesting thing about this is that this is. Based on a on a happy chord. It's a happy key. And the harmony is, is just a loop. This song is just a big loop so far. And, and still the same harmony. So, oh wow, now there's something different. But hold up, I want to show you the, the harmony of this previous part. So, like I said before, he is choosing to base this, this song in a happy group of notes on a happy key and for for those of you that don't know a key is basically it's a group of notes that the composer is allowed to use in the song so depending on what group of notes you choose to use in the song the song feels in a different way so uh, again this is uh, again breaking my expectations because uh, i knew this was some kind of space adventure so i expected something more intense something more high stakes more adventurous so I, I expected a sad key, a sad group of notes, but he is making it very cozy and choosing a happy key here. Check this out. So this is it. It just loops this over and over and over. So what's interesting about this is uh, mostly the last chord of this sequence here. This is the only sad chord in the sequence. This is a very special chord. I'm, go I'm gonna call this a, a wondrous chord. It's a, it, it's a, it, what we call a double function chord. So it has very nuanced uh, emotions in it. I use this a lot uh, in my realms, of, in my soundtrack for Realms of Magic, where I also wanted to convey a sort of wonder and, and awe for for nature and for the, this huge world. I assume that's what he's doing here. And uh, also, something that's also interesting is that, and, and I don't know if, if this has any significance in the story of the game, but for a, a happy song, for a song based on a happy key, it's very interesting that he never goes back to the home chord, which is this one. Uh, this is the the chord that we call the home chord, as you might uh, assume, is the, the chord where the song rests. It gives a full sense of resolution and, and of conclusion. The, the chords never in this sequence go back to the home chord. It stays away from home. And when it builds tension here, and it kind of, this chord specifically here, it calls for the home chord. It, it's a, it's a, tension building chord, it calls for the home chord to resolve that tension. Instead of going to the home chord that I showed you, it goes to that wonder chord. So there's an underlying tension here that n never gets quite resolved, even though it's still a positive song. And that's very interesting. Uh, it, and it being a game, I assume, about uh, traveling in space, I wonder if this has the, the significance of, you know, being away from home and you know traveling through space and going on this adventure okay now let's check the the new part this one different chords oh it's the same 
The same melody over different chords. Oh, wait. Oh! The home chord! He finally, he finally went home! So after all the anticipation of just dancing around the home chord and, and not really going to the home chord, here he finally rests. He, he, I almost felt like the, the song was gonna end right here. Here. See how, how there's a sense of finality, of conclusion? Now he's, he's wandering off again. But for that moment, it felt like home. It felt like a like a conclusion. But again, now now he's wandering off into space again. This track was suggested on Patreon by David Shield. Hooray, David Shield! And guys, you know that everything that I do here on YouTube is for the sake of sharing the music from the games that we love with each other. I think it's important. It inspires us. It makes us. Enjoy life more, so now I'm gonna share with you a track from a game that you probably love over here. I made a video on it and make sure to check, check it out. And remember, whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I will see you there.